Hello friends, welcome to second session of online Python internship program. In the first session, we come to know that how to install Python and how to install Django server. So after installation, how to create a project, inside that project, how to create an applications. So in the second session, we'll learn how to create an HTML page and how to run that HTML page with the help of Django server. So let me show. So earlier we have created a project so let's move on to the directory where we have created the project so in my case i have created in c drive in c drive i have created a folder called tech project tech project this is what the directory that uh, earlier i have created so inside tech project so this is what the virtual environment that i have created to install django server so click on my project okay inside my project i have created a project called demo project so click on demo project so inside demo project you can find one more demo project and my app so this is what the application that i have created earlier so along with these two folder so we need to create one more folder called templates so let me create that folder so right click and go to new and click on folder so mention the folder name as templates t e m p l a t e s templates so and make sure that so where we ha you have created templates folder so that should be within my projects and demo project inside demo project you can find one more demo project along with these two folders you should create templates folder so after creating templates folder so you need to create a simple html page so let me open notepad so let me create a simple html page okay html body and inside my body i'll just put welcome 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 to online internship program and line internship it's enough so close body and close HTML and that's it and save this file so remember you should save this file inside the templates folder where we have created so we have created in C drive in tech projects in tech project inside tech project my project inside my project demo project inside demo project we have created template folder so inside templates we should save this file so name this file as home home.html and uh, save as all type all type so save and that's it we have saved our file so inside template folder okay after creating this page so we need to do some additional settings uh, to run this page with the help of Django server. So what the settings that we need to do? So let me show. So go to your uh, project. So inside demo project, inside demo project, remember, you can find one more demo project. Click on that demo project. So you can find uh, many files. So in these files, so the first settings that we need to do in settings.py file, uh, open this file, right click on this file, open with notepad, open with notepad so here we need to import a package called import os import os after this so we should move on to install app installed app here we need to mention our application name my app in my case in my case it is my app so after this in installed app you need to mention your application name after this you should move on to templates so here we need to mention the base path of our template folder so because django server need need to know where exactly our template folder is so then only it can able to run our uh, newly created html page so we need to mention the path of the template folder so we need to mention the path so to, to, to do that we need to mention os sorry just a second here inside two brackets we need to mention os dot path dot join 
so open bracket base in capital letter base underscore tir comma within single quote we need to mention the folder which we have created templates okay please class class verify your temp, uh, folder name so that you have created so in my case it is templates okay this is what the uh, uh, path name we have to mention here so this this thing is over so in settings dot py file we need to do all these settings we need to import the package after that in installed app we need to mention the application name in my case it is my app and after that in templates we need to mention the path of the template folder so and that's it uh, just close this file so after the settings you need to go to urls.py file so right click on that file so open with notepad okay here what we need to do is we need to mention path path here we need to mention the application name my app my app then include we should call this function so inside include my app dot urls urls so and here we need to in, import include okay so this is what we need to done here in this file urls dot file so in my application we can find one more urls file so it means that we need while running the project django server should consider this url also that's why we need to mention this path here inside demo project inside url dot py file so this is what the settings that we need to done sorry that we need to do in demo project in settings dot py and as well as urls dot py so and that's it just close this file so and uh, after these two settings what we need to do is we need to move on to our application my app so here we don't have urls.py so we need to create urls.py file first so just open notepad open notepad and here you take new notepad from from Django just a second okay in this URL file we need to import these two packages from Django dot urls dot sorry import path from dot import views so after that URL patterns open square bracket here we need to mention path open bracket so single code and then views dot home i'll tell you what exactly views dot home is and give the name as name is equal to home itself home itself and close this thing and close the bracket so this is what the url files uh, should contain so that should be in my app uh, that should we should save this file within my app uh, folder so let me save this file so that should be within my app folder so that is uh, in c drive techno project and my project and demo project in my app this is where exactly we have to save this file so we have to name it as urls.py and type as all type okay and save this file so this one is over after this so we need to move on to the project so techno project my project demo project and in demo project sorry in my app so we need to edit views.py so edit with notepad here so in url.py we have mentioned the url pattern 
url pattern i done something mistake here okay just a second done a spelling mistake okay just rename it so url patterns so here i mentioned path is equal to so empty and views dot home so home is a function name which is there in views file so right now we don't have any function name called uh, home inside views dot py so let me create that method so how to create that method def home request request colon enter and so we should ask the django server to render um, uh, the controller to the home page so to do that we need to write return 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 render open bracket request comma to which page we should render is home page dot html okay and that's it these are all the settings that we need to do so before run and before uh, display so whatever the data there in our home page so let me run the server and uh, uh, let me show what the output we will get okay how to start the server go to command prompt go to command prompt go to your directory where we have created our uh, uh, project it is uh, in my case it is in c drive in tech project So in tech project, I have created a project name called my project. Yeah, CD my project. So inside my project, I have created demo project. Okay, now we need to start the server. So to start the server, we need to enter Python manage.py run server enter okay our server is up and uh, running successfully it is showing ip address along with the port number now what to do is so we should move on to the browser so here we need to type localhost colon 8000 and slash and mention the app name so which we have created in my case my app and press enter okay it is showing some uh, error the request is not defined so we done some mistake so let's move on to the page where we done the mistake i think uh, i did request okay it is in i think i think, I think uh, oh here in view page request i did spelling mistake so then go and change the things and save the file so and check it out and go to your browser so refresh the things again and that's it so our first project has been created successfully and running successfully with the help of django server so and uh, that's all for this session so and uh, in the next session i will show how to create a dashboard how to create login page so thank you thank you so much